Hey there, Brian Goulet here of GouletPens.com. I wanted to show you how to assemble and refill a platinum Curados fountain pen. It's kind of an unconventional fountain pen gun because it is a click retractable fountain pen. Most pens aren't set up this way. You take your standard cartridge converter fountain pen, like this Platinum 3776 here. The way that this thing works is it has a cartridge or converter that you can remove here and the grip and the nib and everything just kind of stays as part of the pen. You're just removing the body to access the pen itself. It's a little bit different with this Curados pen. Now, if you're familiar at all with pens like the Pilot Vanishing Point or the Limey Dialog 3, these pens are set up in a similar fashion to the Curados. They have nib units that are completely housed inside the pen, and to be able to access them, you have to remove the entire outside of the pen. It's the exact same way with the Platinum Curados. So whenever we get a one-off pen that's kind of interesting like this, it's always good to shoot a special video for it, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do here for you today. So I'm gonna take you step by step, show you how this thing works. Unscrew the back of the pen body and set it aside. So this gray post right here, this is what keeps it on track as it's moving forward in the pen when it has the click retraction. And it's also what helps it guide it out of the pen. So you wanna push it forward just enough so that you can align it on that track. You turn it counterclockwise and then pull it out and that's what allows the nib unit to come out of the pen. It has a spring on here that is removable, but you can just leave it in the pen. You wanna twist the metal shroud counterclockwise and then pull it out. You'll notice there's a little post here on the front section of the nib unit that has to align into the track on the back of the metal shroud here. Now you grab your platinum proprietary converter and push it onto the post on the back of that feed until it seats all the way down on here. Twist the converter in a counterclockwise motion so that the piston rod goes all the way down. Grab your ink of choice, open it up, and you're going to insert the pen down so that the entire nib is submerged. The filler hole is right here at the base of the feed where it meets up with this uh, step. So you want to submerge it up to there, insert it into the ink, and then you want to twist it in a clockwise motion, keeping the filler hole submerged the entire time you're twisting. I filled it about that much, and if you expel the ink out again, so twist it counterclockwise all the way down, and then twist it up, that will get you even more of a full filling. Wipe the nib onto the bottle, and then just take a paper towel or whatever your towel of choice and wipe the excess off the end of the nib unit that you just dipped into the bottle. Replace the metal shroud over top of the converter, aligning this track with that post on the front of the nib unit. So you'll seat that in place and then twist it in a clockwise motion to lock it in place. Now, technically you can do this as soon as you install the converter before you fill the pen. But I personally like to have the shroud off the pen when I'm filling it so I can see everything that's going on in that converter. You take your front of your pen body that has the spring in it. You align the gray post right here so that it matches up with the track here. You put it down there. It's gonna give you a little bit of resistance right about this point because of the spring is catching but you have it so it rides along that track, pushing down, and you twist it in a clockwise motion, and then let it up. And now it's back on track for when you replace the back of the body on. You place the back of the body on in a clockwise motion, and now your nib unit is inked up, fully installed, and ready to write. Now, if you're using a cartridge instead of a converter, you do all the same steps to disassemble the pen so that you get the front section of the housing. Instead of installing a converter, you're gonna install a cartridge. So these are platinum proprietary cartridges. It's got a metal ball on the end that is plugging up the end of the cartridge. So that, you're just gonna push it onto the back of the post. It's gonna take a little bit of pressure, but it should give a little bit of a snap. And then you'll wanna seat it down firmly in place, just like that, and then you know it's all set. 
then all the rest of the steps are exactly the same that you just did. You replace your shroud, reinstall the nib unit. The only difference is when you're using a cartridge, if the pen's not already inked, it might take a minute or two for the ink to work its way down through the feed if it's a completely dry pen. That would be the only difference with the cartridge. So hopefully this helps you out. It's not super, super complicated, but there are some nuances with this pen that I'm really hoping this video made clearer. Now, one thing of note, this pen is made of plastic and some thin metal parts. Everything you do should be able to be done without a great deal of force. If you find that you're really having to force things, you might end up causing some damage to your pens. So just be patient, be careful, and use good judgment when you're handling this pen. If you have any more questions, be sure to leave comments on YouTube or anywhere else that you might be seeing this video. You can ask our team at info at goulaypens.com. Be sure to check out our website and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching and right on.